guys, um, I just wanted to take a couple minutes to talk about a topic that somebody had brought to my attention that maybe a lot of people wanted to hear. Um, <clears throat> do you notice how every time I say, oh, hey guys, or hey everyone, when I start these, that sounds so stupid. You need to help me think of something else because that is just not going to work for me anymore. Um, I need to think of something better, something new next time. Like, my friend Marissa, who, notice how I said your name right? I'm learning. But, um, she says, hey YouTube, it's your number one army diva. Why? Because she's an army girl, one. And she's a diva. And she talks about P90X. And her weeks. She's all buff and ripped. And Ugh. Ugh. Made me cool like her. She's a coach on my team, I'm pretty proud. And anyways, off subject, but maybe she can help me think of something. Follow her. She's number one army diva on YouTube. She talks about P90X and she talks about makeup and gives tips and love following her about all that kind of stuff. And you can't tell that I like makeup because I don't have anything on. Sorry. But um, anyways, follow her. So anyways, what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk about a, like what you guys wanted to hear. Like Shalene Johnson creator of Turbo Jam and um, Shalane Extreme and Turbo Kick. She, anyways, um, does this like weekly thing every Friday where she answers people's questions. It's like a fan day mailbag type of thing. And so I want to do that. Now, I don't have fans. I'm not popular or famous like she is, but I do have friends. And I kind of wanted to like just, I don't know, get my face out there and, and give some tips or anything that anybody was wanting to know about. Well, this one happened to be army life, so here I am. So let me start off by saying that um, Adam is a warrant officer in the army. He is a Black Hawk helicopter pilot, and uh, he has done a. He's been in since '06. Um, I've been with him since. I mean, before and and now. Um, so he has done a year in Korea. He went to Korea right out of flight school, which was a couple years ago. It was um, 08 when he had left, May of 08, I think, or something. We had just found out recently that I was pregnant with Maya. Um, I was about 15 weeks pregnant when he left, and he was gone for the six months. He came home on R&R, &R, and we planned it for him to come home for the birth. So luckily, he made it home for the birth. Um, he made it home about a week early, so that was great. And we had Maya December 9th of 08, and then he had to leave two weeks later. So that was pretty sucky, um, and it was pretty hard. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, like I, I feel like that was probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. No matter what, deployments aren't easy right now, I'm, I'm going through a deployment as we speak with him again. Um, I, they're not easy by any means, but no matter how many you do. But I just think that that one, I felt like I felt a little sorry for myself. I felt like I was a single mom living at home with my parents because I had moved back to Michigan. Living at home with my parents. And when you, when you talk about starting a family with your husband or your significant other, you expect them to be there. And, and you think about how great and rainbows and sunshine and everything it's going to be. Um, you don't factor in that they could be gone. Especially, like, even when you know that, they, that there's a 90% chance that they're going to be gone. So, I, um, let's see. He got home six months after he left for r, &R. So, he was gone for a whole year. Um, Maya was six months when he got home, and we moved here to Kansas last June. We, I love it here. I, I think that one of the main things, here's tip number one. Start wherever you're going to move. Like, we're going to be here for a couple years now. We know that. So we bought a home. Make wherever you are, make it your home. Make it some place that you can just feel like, okay, now my life is starting. Now I can finally get into a routine. I can feel like I have some, I can decorate my new house. I can keep busy with that. I can keep busy with my kids. I can, I can find activities that are going on around here. Like, we have a zoo here, which is, it's, it's an alright zoo. It's not like the Washington D.C. zoo or anything like that, but it's good. 
and um, we have the Wizard of Oz Museum and things like that. So I um, I really feel like I'm finally starting to make this home my home, and I, I love it. Um, that's why this deployment's a little bit easier for me to go through because I know what to expect, and um, and I have my own home. I think that was one main thing that was bothering me the first time because, now don't get me wrong, I appreciate everything that my family and his family did for me because we're from the same hometown. Um, I appreciate everything that they did for me and helped me with Maya while he was gone. I could not have gotten through it without them. But you just need something for yourself and you need something like, like you, you know, you, you need to feel like you're living this life and you're not just going through the day-to-day -day process of it. Um, so wherever you are, make it your home. When you wake up tomorrow, wake up with a fresh attitude about it and make it your home.